In this tutorial, I will show you how to simplify or reduce to its lowest term rational expressions. I will walk you through these three different examples, these three different types. Let's jump into this. Say you have something x squared plus x minus 6 over x squared plus 2x minus 3. So you have the overall form, you have the rational expression. Now, your top and your bottom both are quadratic expression. So all you want to do is just factor them out one by one. Since you have two quadratics, you can factor it out. And remember, all you want to do, actually, let's say for the first one, for the top, you want to come up with two numbers that multiply to the last constant, which is negative 6 for the top quadratic, and add simultaneously to the middle coefficient, which is 1. So you see there is no coefficient explicitly written in terms of x. So by default, it's 1. So add to 1. So your quadratic is going to be two sets of parentheses, both starting with the x, the variable you are given. And now we are going to fill out these two gaps. So again, two numbers multiply to negative 6 and add to 1. So it's going to be negative 2 and 3. So negative 2 and 3. Let's check. So negative 2 times 3, that gives you negative 6 and negative 2 plus 3. You are going to left with positive 1. So now we are going to use these numbers to fill out this gap. So negative 2 and positive 3. So order doesn't matter. You could simply swap the order. The same goes for the denominator for the bottom. So again, we are looking for two numbers that multiply to the last coefficient, which is negative 3 in this case, and add up. So the sum gets to positive Two. So it's going to be positive 3 and negative 1. So positive 3 and negative 1. So again, let's check. So 3 times negative 1 gives you negative 3. And 3 plus negative 1 gives you positive 2. Now, what happened, if you notice, we will have two same factors, two same expressions. So now your fraction, actually, your top and bottom, they share the common factor, as we say. So all you want to do, just cancel it out. So we are going to remove x plus 3 from the top and x plus 3 from the bottom. Actually, our aim, our goal was to get this common factor that can be cancelled off from both top and bottom. So, and your expression becomes, so we have left over from top is just x, let me clean it up, minus 2, and we have the bottom is just x minus 1. So, that's gonna be your final answer for this problem. All right. Perfect. Moving on. Say we have been given this rational expression, 3x squared minus 9x over x squared minus 4x plus 3. Looks similar, but actually I'm giving you another type that might come up when you do algebra. Now, let's start with the top. It looks like quadratic, and actually it is a quadratic, but something different from what we did before. So if you notice, there is no last constant term. There is no the third term actually in this quadratic. It's missing. So we need another approach to factor out top. Remember, we always want to factor out. 
And the best thing to do is just look for the overall common factor for both terms in this top that can be pulled out front. Look, we have 3 and 9, and both of these numbers, they're definitely divisible by 3. All you want to do at this point, just pull out this overall 3 in front. Now, also notice that your first term has x squared in it, and the second one has x. So, x also can be pulled out front, factor out. Again, we are looking for actually GCF. So, for the greatest common factor. So, it's greatest common factor that both terms share, have. That wo and we want to just factor it out, take it out, outside of the brackets. What's left over? So, 3x squared divided by 3, you are going to left with just x. We want to keep the sign. So, 9 divided by 3 is going to be 3, and x is outside, so nothing more. Perfect. We are done with the top. Now, let's move on to the bottom. So, bottom is a quadratic, is a standard quadratic, and we are going to do the same technique as we did for the first one. So, we are going for two numbers, looking for two numbers that multiply to the last coefficient 3 and add to negative 4. So your quadratic factors out to two sets of parentheses, both starting with x, and it's going to be negative 1, the first number, and the second number is going to be negative 3. So let's check out negative 1 times negative 3, it's positive 3. All right, the first requirement taken care of. Let's check the second requirement. So minus 1 plus minus 3, that would leave you with negative 4. Perfect. And again, magic happened. We have the same factor, x minus 3 and x minus 3. So your expression simplifies... Two, we have only 3x on top left over, and we have x minus 1 on bottom. So that's the lovely answer for the second one. All right, finally, the last one. So top is a standard quadratic, so we are going to use the same approach. So it's going to be two factors being multiplied together, both starting with the x. And again, we are looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 10 and add to positive 3. So it's going to be negative 2 and positive 5. So negative 2 and positive 5. Five. So let's check our requirements. Let's check the first one. So negative 2 times 5, that's going to leave you with negative 10. The first requirement taken care of. So we need to check out the second requirement. So negative 2 plus 5, it's going to be positive 3. Perfect. Now, let's move to the bottom. Look at this. We have x squared minus 4. And again, our aim, we want to factor it out. This is another type of quadratics that I mentioned in my previous tutorials. This is actually the difference of squares. So remember, if we have something a squared, let's say, minus b squared, so it's going to be, it factors out into a minus b to conjugates being multiplied, and a plus b. So for is a perfect square. It's actually two squared. So, using this difference of perfect squares formula, DOPS, as they say, so it's gonna be two factors. First one is x minus 2, and the second one is x plus 2, positive 2. Again, why? Because 4 is two squared, so you could simply use this formula. 
Now we have x minus 2, the common factor for both top and bottom. We are going to cancel it out. It goes away. Bye-bye. And you are going to left with just on top we have x plus 5 left over. And on the bottom we end up getting x plus 2. So it's going to be the simplified form of this rational expression.